my channel so today's video is very exciting it's one that I know a lot of you have been waiting for since I moved back to Leeds around three weeks ago and it is a tour of my new room so as you probably know I have moved into a student house now because I'm going into second year at the University of Leeds and most people at Leeds tend to move into houses after first year obviously last year I was in student accommodation but this year I'm in a house and the contract is slightly different, hence why I've moved back early. A student house contract typically starts from the start of July as opposed to September, like student accommodation provided by the university does. And seeing as I'm gonna be here for pretty much a year straight exactly, I wanted to make sure that my room was really nicely decorated and I really liked the vibe of it. And I'm so happy with how it's turned out. I'm living with five of my friends so the six of us in the house and I got pretty lucky with my room. We did randomly allocate them so we put all of the rooms into a hat and we put all of our names into a hat and then drew out of each hat and I definitely got very lucky and I'm so grateful for that. I know some of you are going to ask so I just want to say now that I'm not going to do a tour of the whole house. As I've said it's not just me living in this house so even though you'll probably see the kitchen and the living room in the background of vlogs I just feel as though it'd be an invasion of my housemates privacy if I went around filming their rooms. It's just a little bit weird and also it's kind of an invasion of my privacy too so I'm obviously going to give you a tour of my room today but I won't be showing you the whole house or anything like that. I thought I'd start at the door this is obviously where you come into the room and the first thing you see is this wonderful light switch so I'm not quite sure but this is like a bathroom light I think the landlord did say that at one point this room was cut into a bathroom and a smaller bedroom and they've extended it this is my wonderful door that if you want to close you have to literally go into it like that to lock it properly on here I've just stuck two of these command hooks I had these in my first year at university too I stuck them on the side of my wardrobe because I wanted to hang up my dressing gown and my towel sorry for this really really weird angle now however I wanted to show you the window in my room so I've got two windows I've got a window that actually looks outside and then I've got this window that looks into the hall I need to cover this up with something because it's actually really annoying because if anyone turns on the hall light at night it literally lights up my whole room so to the left of my door I have this full length mirror and this is a mirror from William Wood mirrors everything that I can still find I will have linked down below in the description so things like my mirror my bedding etc the room did originally come with a smaller mirror however it was just rubbish and I've always really wanted a big mirror and I feel like because this room has so much floor space and I'm very lucky with the size of it I could afford to have a bigger mirror I love the black as well I've got a lot of black accents in this room like this lamp here is black this actually came with the room already please ignore my flip-flops they are not a vibe but to the right of my door we have this chest and this is something that I brought myself so this chest actually belonged to my grandma. She used it when she moved into university. So it's a bit of a family heirloom, I think they're called. My grandparents are actually moving house and they were originally gonna put this in an auction and sell it. And I was like, hold on, 
I'll have it please and they very kindly gave it to me and it's actually great for storage so in here I'm just storing bedding I've got a whole suitcase in here uh, towels just spare bits and bobs here I just have my yoga mat and then this is just a barbell pad and then this basket here I had last year in my student accommodation and I just use this to keep all of my like shampoo and conditioner and shower gel, shaving stuff, fake tanning because I've got a shared bathroom. This is a little diffuser. Obviously, if I was going to turn this on, I would move it away from the plant. This plant is another thing that I have stolen from my grandma. Well, not stolen. She did give it to me. And it is a peace lily plant. It is a real plant. So I do feel a whole new level of responsibility now because last year, all the plants I had were fake. So I didn't have to water them or anything. However, she is currently thriving. Her name is Peace. I know, not very creative, not very imaginative, but... So next we have my desk, and this desk is actually huge. I don't know if you can really see it properly in this clip, but it's a very, very weird shape. Width-wise, it is so wide. I have never had a desk this wide, and this shelf thing is kind of like in the center of the desk. So here I just brought this plant that I had in my room last year. It's just the typical hanging plant from Ikea. It is actually fake. However, next to it, I have this plant that is real. I got this in the plant shop that's in the corn exchange in Leeds. So on this shelf here, I then have some crystals. I've got a little re-diffuser. This is a lampshade that I bought from Ikea that I have yet to work out how to put on my actual lamp. And I did try before this video to put it on and just ended up taking the bulb out of my lamp and not achieving a lot else. I then have my speaker on here as well. This is just a portable one, which is great because I can bring it downstairs for when we're just chilling or we're having pre's when we can actually go out again. I just got my stapler and my hole punch and then here are some books. These are just books that I have yet to read or I need to give to people because they want to read them. Then down here on this bit, firstly we have my little mirror. So I had this in first year as well. It's just one from Boots and you do plug it in and it can light up. However, I don't have it plugged in at the moment but it's really good for when you're getting ready at night and you need a little bit more light. Then we have have my makeup bag there those are my makeup brushes that is some makeup remover just so it's all in one place this little calendar thing is a print that I got from Etsy. I'll link it down below in the description if I can find it. This is a miniature chest of drawers from Ikea and this was such a good find because this is incredible for just storing little bits and bobs that otherwise I would have just no place for. So I've got things like hair bubbles, scrunchies, my skincare in this one just little bits and bobs basically and on top i've got this little container that has some lipsticks in and some powder makeup this is a jade roller and then this here is all stationery i know i've got way too much stationery these are actually my first year textbooks however i've brought them back because the business society does a second hand book sale so i'm going to sell them off in the book sale and then obviously replace them with my second year textbook this is obviously my desk chair. It is very comfy, however, pretty knackered. <laughs> and underneath my desk, I also have my printer, some printer paper. That is a folder of documents. I've got some scales, a bin, and then just some like workout things here. Okay, moving on round. This is probably one of my favorite parts of my room. So this tapestry is from Amazon. I've already got loads of questions about it because it's been in the background of a few Instagram stories. I don't normally like buying things on Amazon. However, it's literally the only tapestry I could find that I really liked. So, and this is my shoe rack. It's from Argos. I'll have it linked down below if they still have it, but this just stores all of my trainers. So there's 12 pairs of trainers here. Then I've got a plant here. This plant is actually fake. She's called Regina George because she's plastic and fake. And this was from Primark, I think. I just loved the 
pot that it came in as well i thought it matched the kind of like wood vibes of the room really well you can't really see it because obviously it's broad daylight right now but i do have leds running along the skirting board along this wall here i'll insert a clip of how it looks at night because it looks so cool then here i've just got my laundry basket which is exactly the same one that i had in first year it's from Dunnell. moving around again this is my wardrobe and this actually came with the room it is falling apart i'm not gonna lie and i can only open this door of my wardrobe i can open this one however it's such a faff to get back in i've got to like fiddle with the hinges to actually close it again on the top of my wardrobe i've just put my bigger bags as well and then the wardrobe has two drawers down here so in this top drawer i've put hair products and just miscellaneous toiletries and then in the bottom drawer i've put chargers and just like electrical bits and bobs this is my bed it is a small double which is actually so convenient because last year I had a small double and it means that all of my bedding fits again this year so this is the same bedding that I had last year it's from Habitat I'm not sure if they'll still have it because obviously I bought it over a year ago now this year I've just decided to stick with two pillows I didn't add any pillows for decoration just because I'm quite enjoying the kind of minimal industrial vibes of this room so moving on to the final part of the room this here is a clothing rail that actually came with the room this is probably the one useful piece of furniture that came with the room so on here i just have my belts at the end a bandana a bucket hat because do you even go to leeds uni if you don't own a bucket hat i've also got a mask because those are pretty essential nowadays an umbrella two little shoulder bags there there's kind of a weird mix of things on this clothing rail so here these are all kind of like crop tops and then it just goes on to jackets because most of my hoodies and jumpers and stuff are in the main wardrobe. And then I've also got clothes in this chest of drawers as well. So in the top drawer, I've got underwear and socks. In this drawer, I've got a lot of jeans and trousers. This drawer here is all like joggers and shorts and comfy stuff. And then the bottom drawer is my gym stuff and pajamas. Then on the top of my chest of drawers, this jewelry holder container thing is from Muji. These are just my sprays and perfumes and deodorants. This just contains jewelry that I wear on an everyday basis because it can be sometimes fiddly to get stuff out of of that without wrecking the whole display this little succulent is from the same place that i bought the plant over there i then brought my alarm clock from home everyone always connects this to my gcse study with me and i don't really see why because i've had it over a levels too but i brought that with me this year because i feel like it matches the vibe of the room quite well and then i've just got a square mirror here and that is from ikea above my bed i then have this moon garland from urban outfitters and i have actually put little nails in the wall to attach this so rip to my deposit if you are going into first year and you're going into student accommodation please do not nail anything into your walls however as you probably noticed as i've been going around the room my room has patches of paint missing everywhere and holes all over the walls so i thought you know what what is two more holes in the wall gonna do and that brings you round to where we started so here is my big mirror again this little side table came with the room already i'm not a massive fan of it at the start i really really hated it and wanted to get rid of it however it's sort of grown on me now i feel like the wood does tie in with the other wooden things in the room and on this i just have the book that i'm currently reading my water bottle moisturizer my hairbrush airpods etc so yeah there it is my room for second year of university i absolutely love this room i love the way that it turned out even though i'm probably gonna lose my deposit over the nails and the wall and various other things that i've done i forgot to mention but i actually stuck the tapestry up with command strips which i would definitely recommend 
over nailing things into the wall. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Sorry it turned out kind of long. I don't know why I had to explain everything so much, but I hope this has given you some inspiration for your university room or your room at home or just a little bit of entertainment. Who doesn't love a room tour? If you did enjoy, make sure to give the video a like, subscribe to my channel and also follow my social media, which will be linked down below in the description. Bye guys.